Happy Sunday, boys. King of the fourth quarter here, and I'm back with another video. Um, this is not going to be a part of any series that I have on my channel. I was just like, you know what? I'm bored. Let's make a video. So what we're going to be doing, we're going to do a fantasy draft my league with some custom rosters, some rosters that I've used before by Professor 2K, or it's 2K Professor, one of the two. The guy makes incredible rosters on the Xbox One where he creates a bunch of legends that weren't in the game, and I forgot to turn on the custom rosters. There we go. Turn on custom rosters, fantasy draft on. And uh, it's this one right here. He used, I usually use the Legend Throwback Prime, but it actually has some repeat players. So he made a very new roster since the last time I talked about him named Legend Prime No Doubles, which you can probably get. There are no doubles. There was like two um, Kobe's. There was two Shaq's. But he got rid of all of that. And we're going to use this um, since the Fantasy Draft. My goal is to, of course, win a championship. Try to draft the best team possible. Um, I'm not sure what team I'm going to use. So we're just going to do it. Randomize, randomize, randomize it. And um, here we go. Three, two, one. So we will be playing with the Boston Celtics, which is cool because that's the team I actually want to play with. So let's hope we get a pretty nice pick in the draft. I'm hoping that it's going to be like a top 10 pick because I would love to get a great player. And I think we're, we are the, okay, we're further down here. We're not going to get a top 10 pick, but we do have number 16, which is cool. Um, We can get Shaq. And I'm probably going to get Shaq. That's probably the first guy on the list that I'm going to get. Um, just because I'm a big Shaq fan. And I do think he's one of the most dominant players in NBA history for sure. Um, I'm just picking the team. It, it's There is no like um, objective with picking my team. I am going to just pick players that I think will work nice together. And we came with Shaq. And the second guy we're going to get is Jason Kidd. Oh, one year, $17, $17 million contract is kind of big. Um, hopefully... We can um, change that. He'll resign after one year, depending on how long we're going to make this video. So the third pick we're going to get, I'm trying to run through this as fast as possible. Um, Yao Ming is there, but we already have Shaq. So Dennis Rodman seems like it may be the best pick. He's 34, one year on his contract, so maybe not. Take that back. Draymond Green or Blake Griffin. That's what I'm um, going through right now. Draymond Green or Blake Griffin. Draymond has a longer contract. Um, usually doesn't translate well to 2K, though. So I'm going to go with Blake Griffin. At least I know with Blake Griffin, I can still get 20 points. With Draymond Green and 2K, not too much, man. Not too much. Um, so shooting guard, I need, right? I need a shooting guard and a small forward. So let's see what's on the list. We have Larry Nance Sr., um, Bernard King, AK-47, Antoine Walker, DeMar DeRozan, Meta World Peace. So I think we're going to go with uh, Clay Thompson. Pretty simple. We're going to go with Clay Thompson with this pick right here. Um, so we do have one Warriors player on that team. And he's a knockdown shooter. That's always good. So we're going to go small for it now. AK-47 is still there. And AK-47 still has game. And here he's 34. Not too big of a deal, though. We're trying to win a championship immediately. So him being old doesn't really matter. So AK-47, there we go. Really quick, man. We're already five picks here. Let me show you the start. This is basically the starting five. So we got Shaq back and a Boston Celtics jersey. J. Kidd, Blake Griffin, Klay Thompson, uh, AK-47. I think that's a pretty solid starting five. Six man, I see Baron Davis right here. That is incredible. I love Baron Davis. He's trying to make a, a comeback to the league in real life, which is crazy. And um, you know what? We're going to go with him. Baron Davis, six man. That is ridiculous. I, I feel like this team is already going to be great. Um, seventh man on the roster. There's a lot of point guards left, so we're going to go something that's not a PG. Let's go big man. Let's go big man for sure. Um, What type of big man do we want? Do we want a defensive big man? Do we want someone that can go out there and score for us because we have Brooke Lopez here? Or do we want a guy like DeAndre Jordan who can go out there and get us a bunch of rebounds and play some solid defense? Um, Let's see. I think I may go Joe Kim Noah, Bulls fan right here. Pretty biased pick, but that's what we're going to do. We're going to go Joe Kim Noah. Uh. That's a pretty solid pick, man. The guy was once upon a time a MVP candidate. So why not pick him up and put him on the team? There are a ton of point guards in this. You see all these point guards that are left? We can draft another one. At least not right now. We got to fill the rest of the roster. Uh, Mike Dunleavy. This is a, a prime Mike Dunleavy. 80 overall. Three-pointer is a 92. Wow. Let's see what the best three-pointer left is. It's Mike Dunleavy at a 92. So that's pretty solid. Um, uh, Luol Deng. This is the nice Luol Deng who actually got buckets. And we have to pick between, I'm looking between um, Mike Dunleavy and Steve Smith, another nice knockdown shooter. Um, I'm going to go by contracts. That's, that's what I'm going to do. I'm looking looking at it like a GM. You know, you always want to get a guy that can you, lock, you can lock up for a while. So we're going to go Mike Dunleavy. 
I think I'm doing pretty well, guys. You probably don't think so. The one reason I hate doing like drafts like this on video is because everybody has, you know, their own people that they like. So in the comment section, there's going to be a lot of you missed this player or you should have drafted this player. We're probably going to go with no. Let, let's see. Let's see. Let's see what we have on our bench. We have Baron Davis. We have Joe Kim. And then we have Mike Dunleavy. So we need a power forward, a shooting guard, and that's it. Power forward or a shooting guard. Um, so let's see what power forwards are left. We got Kmart. I like Kmart, man. I like Kmart. He is 37 in this, but like I said earlier, that's not a problem because we're trying to win the championship year one. And I think he'd be a nice pick. Or should we get a stretch four guy like Ryan Anderson because Joe Kim is not going to go out there and knock down a bunch of shots. I think it would be smarter for me. Hmm, actually, we got Mike Dunleavy. So it's, I'm trying to make a nice balance between defense and um, knocking down shots. So because of that, I think I'm going to go with K. Martin. We're going to go K. Martin. Actually, we don't need our bigs to be stretch fours. You know, stretch fours, stretch fives. We need our guards to have that nice touch. And speaking of nice touch, look at this. Look at this three-point shot. I think we're going to go with him for sure. Or Jeff Hornacek. We have another coach on the team. <laughs> have another coach on the team if we pick up Jeff Hornacek. Let's see what else is down here. See if it's any steals, and I don't think so. Dale Curry's there. You know, Dale Curry's three is ridiculous. Not, actually, it's not too high in this game. That's that's a surprise for sure. But I think we're going to go with the younger guy in this situation and pick this guy up. So now we have our top ten players. Now, these are like the the roster fillers. They're probably not going to get a lot of tick, but they should be specialty guys. That's That's what I've always been told. Um, the last couple guys on the roster should also always be specialty picks. So speaking of specialty picks, is one guy. He has a specialty. He is a lockdown defender, no doubt. Tony Allen is a guy, but I may be able to get him. Oh, I maybe I won't be able to get him next round. Tony Allen, who's our shooting guard? So we have Clay Thompson, John Mc McLaughlin, McLaughlin, McLaughlin. Yeah, John McLaughlin. And that's it. So we may have to go Tony Allen now. I'm going to go Tony Allen now. And then with this 12th pick, I'm going to go with another big man because just in case like someone gets injured, there's Antonio Davis. I want to get someone that's like like large, someone that's like over six foot. Alexis Agents is there, but he's not great. Let's look at the small or power forwards. Todd Gibson, Ed Davis. No, I think we ran out of all the like historic players. So these are like modern day players, which is okay. Um... Let's look for someone that's big. I think Alexis Jensen may be the guy. That contract's huge, so actually I take that back. Kelly Olenek is a specialty guy. Let's see what else is here. Let's look at power forwards. Let's see if there's a nice power forward here. Um, Thad Young is there. Sam Perkins is there. That's a specialty guy. The guy got a torch. Look at that. 87-3 from a big man. Ridiculous. Let's see what else. I think we're going to... Um... Oh, we're going to... Oh, I'm on Muggsy. We're going Muggsy. Sorry, guys. We're going Muggsy. Then we're going to let our uh, assistant GM pick that 13th pick because I really don't care too much. That 13th player is not going to get a lot of tick. We are going to download a draft class. We're going to bring in um this one. It's the most downloaded one, so I'm hoping that it's accurate and uh, guys are actually realistic. So let's look at the rotation. Of course, the starting five, I'll talk to you guys about that. And then the last guy we picked up was Tiago Splitter. So we did get another big with that 13th pick, which is cool. Um, can we go to power rankings? We are seventh in power rankings. Good job, guys. We, we drafted a nice team. And then the Warriors are number one. So let's see what the Warriors team looks like. Let's see what the Warriors have. They have Dominique Wilkins, Vince Carter, Dennis Rodman, Penny Hardaway, Andrew Bynum, Hassan Weissa. Ooh, two Big man that go crazy down there. Reggie Jackson, Victor Ladipo, Jerome Kersey. I'm pretty sure he just passed away not too long ago. I could be wrong. Man, I, ho I hope I'm wrong, but I feel like he just passed away a little while ago. Ronnie Stuckey, Nikola Miritich. This time, it this team is actually pretty good. Um, Let's look and see where the greatest are. So right here, they got Will and Alonzo Mourning. Wow. Who's going to be dominating that, that center or that, um, that paint? Larry Bird is in Philly. Dwayne Wade and Anthony Davis and Grant Hill. Wow. Steve Francis. That team is a nice one, too. Um, Tim Duncan is in the Bulls jersey. Steph Curry is in the Clippers jersey. Magic Johnson is in Memphis. Isaiah Thomas is there. Michael Jordan is in the Heat jersey. That's what I was looking for. Michael Jordan is in the Heat jersey. Okay. So let's simulate the first, first month. Let's go first month and see what our team goes. 
I'm thinking that we're going to be pretty good, guys. See, we already starting off. Uh, we lost a game. I, I feel like we drafted a pretty solid team, and we can actually win some nice, am a nice amount of games. AK-47 is injured. We're going to say leave it because who cares? AK, look, he's back already. After one game, he was back. Um, so they won't. Powell and Wiggins for AK-47 and Shaq? No way, man. There's no way I'm going to let that happen. Shaq and AK-47? You know, Oh, you know what I should look at? They have a lot of... Yeah, man. They have a bunch of draft picks. So I could update my team significantly with these draft picks. So let's see. AK-47, how's he shooting? He's averaging 11 points. Um, shooting almost 50%, which is pretty good. But look at this. Not loyal at all. So you know what? We are going to try to package him with a draft pick and try to see if we can update that small four position. Let's let's take advantage of the picks that the um that this team has. The only problem right now, it seems like, is that his contract is so small that we won't be able to get any significant offers. See, this is the best thing we got because their their contracts match up. So what we're going to do, we're going to exchange that. Let's see who else. Let, let's see who's not playing well. We're only 10 games in, of course. Shaq's average in 21, which is cool. Um... Jason Kidd is not doing too hot. I expected him to score a little bit more than that. Blake Griffin, okay, that's all right for me. Let's see. Let's let's see what what position should we update, guys? What position should I update? Um, you know what? Actually, let's get a month into the season before I think about trades, man. Let's get a month into the season. Let's see what we can do here. Shaquille O'Neal is injured. We're gonna have to adjust that. So Joe Kim Noah is going to get that starter position until. Um, until Shaq comes back, I think what we're going to do, actually, we're going to lower the depth chart so our starters can play a little bit more. So those numbers can be nice. I, I feel like the my starting five is really good. And as soon as I do that, look at, oh my God, we got to change that. Or maybe because Shaq's out. Maybe that's the reason. If Shaq's out, so we're losing games. This game, we put up 143 points. Who turned up for? And that was against Jordan. Blake Griffin scored 47 points. Wow. Blake wasn't playing. Of course, Blake was going crazy. So I do want to get rid of AK-47, but it seems like we may not be able to do that. Maybe drafting him wasn't the best idea. He's shooting 50% um, still for the for the season. So huh, he's playing well. He's, he's definitely playing well, but it's just not, not to where we want it to be. So maybe we can deal Jason Kidd. Why not? Why not try to deal Jason Kidd? If we can get somebody that's like a 96, 97 at the point guard position for Jason Kidd. I wouldn't be too, wouldn't be too upset. So George Gervin and Buck Williams don't like that one. Um, Earl Monroe may be a nice pickup, but we're we're not we're not actually gaining much with that one. Yeah, nobody's gonna give away their best player, which is understandable. Um, maybe if we threw in another pick, one of these picks have to be worth some money, worth something. So the same exact trade that they offered earlier, same people, same everything. So how about we package both picks? Oh, we doing everything. Look at this, guys. We're, we're trying to get, we're trying to upgrade this team because I want to win a championship ASAP. And why would we do this trade? Sephar Marbury for Jason Kidd. Uh, nope, we're not looking at that. We're not looking too good on that trade either. What's Clay doing for us? He's averaging 15. Not too bad for him. How about we do the Mavericks and the the um the Celtics pick? No, nobody. Wow, this is crazy. I, I expected to do way more with those draft picks. Maybe I gotta um do a little. I, I may try a little bit more after this next month. So let's see how it goes, man. Ten and eight is not great. That rhymes a little bit, but we we are missing Shaq right now. We may we are missing Shaq, and now Baron Davis is out a couple weeks. We're gonna actually have the the assistant coach do that or whatever. Because with the flu, I don't know if I want him playing through that. And Shaq is back. So that's great. Shaq is back. And they really want to get rid of Antoine Walker. You see, they offered me this trade twice already. And Shaq comes back and we start winning games. This trade is not one I'm going to do either. Nope. Give, that's getting too many bigs. Too many bigs going in this roster. And Bear Davis is back. So I'm hoping we can win the championship as soon as possible. I don't even know how long I'm going to make this video. I, I don't know if I'm going to edit it down. It's probably going to be all uncut, man. It's going to be all uncut just because it's Sunday. And I feel like a lot of like YouTubers or commentators don't upload videos on Sunday. So I want I want to change that. I want to be one of those guys that uh, does it. And right here, Muggsy's going to be out for a while. I may be able to, to shop Muggsy for a better backup point guard. Didn't think about that too much, but maybe we can do that. We're going to go to the all-star break, and then we're thinking about trades. Hopefully, everybody's healthy so we can um actually make some trades worth making our team better. 
and uh, chemistry is high. Fans aren't really interested. That's 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 wild. That's wild. We actually win games, but the fans don't are interested. We're gonna disable trades just because um they're offering too many. They're offering too many, so we're gonna disable. Let's see if we can win these next couple games. All right, so we're not doing too bad. We're fourth. Look, we're fourth in our division and fourth in our co our um conference, which is crazy. Because uh, that means the top three teams in the East are all in the same conference. So uh, when we get to this All-Star break, I'm going to show you guys what's going on around the league, of course. Because I'm pretty sure you guys are interested. Um, Dominique Wilkins is leading the league in scoring. Michael Jordan. Charles Barkley. You guys can see who's doing what. Um, numbers are great. Look at all these numbers, man. Shaq is 17th on the list, which is great for us, man. We got somebody that's there. Derrick Rose, wow. Oh, this is a 93 Derrick Rose. Okay, that makes sense. That makes sense. So we're going to keep going. Okay, um, let's look at um, all-star participation. Yes, Eastern Conference. So Michael Jordan, Oscar Robinson, Wilt, Hakeem, Charles, Tim Hardaway. You guys can read. Is Shaq is there. Yes, Shaq has made it. Perfect. Um, then the West, the West team looks great too. The West team definitely looks great. I think our team is a little bit better, so we'll, we'll see. Look at this dunk contest. This will be the dunk contest for the ages. Vince Carter, Julius Irvin, Zach Levine, and Wh maybe Wiggins doesn't fit too well, but these other guys, wow. That is crazy. That will be one dunk contest I wouldn't mind seeing. Uh, Three-point shootout. Another one. Look at this. One of the best three-point three shooters of all time. Vince Carter's in both the three-point shootout and the dunk contest. That's crazy. Klay Thompson, a great shooter on our team, actually. Paja, Joe Johnson, and Paul Pierce. That's a nice one. Um, this is the Riser Stars Challenge. So these are the young young cats coming into the league. Nobody on our team on either of these teams, which is okay. All right, let's let's try to make let's try to make some moves. Let's try to make some moves. Uh, first, let's look at our numbers. See who's not part, who's not um, performing well for us. Let's go to field goal percentage. Jason Kidd, man. Jason Kidd isn't shooting great. Averaging only nine. Well, not only. He's almost averaging a triple-double. Like <laughs> He's almost averaging a triple-double. But maybe we need someone that can score a little bit more at that point guard position. So let's try to package in some picks. Let's see what we can get. Not seeing anything again. We get low-balled with these offers, man. Nobody wants Jason Kidd. Jason Kidd is one of the greatest guards of all time. But nobody wants him. Um... Let's see what we can get for. Let's try AK-47 again. He's still shooting 50%. <laughs> the guy is having a great year, but he's not going to sign back with us, which is kind of heartbreaking. So maybe we should deal him if we can get someone better for him. Carlos Booz is the same trades over and over. Doesn't look like we, we're going to be able to deal him. So that's cool. That's cool, too. Um, Baron Davis, maybe? How is he playing for us? He's a averaging 16 and 5. Not too shabby, not too shabby at all. Uh, Kmart is shooting 50%. Joe Kim not shooting 50%, but he's averaging 10 points a game, so I'm okay with that. Uh, that our three-point shooters, how are they doing? Both being okay. This is actually pretty low numbers for Mike Dunleavy, so maybe we should update, upgrade Mike Dunleavy. Let's see. Um, nope, they offer Nate Robinson and uh, Tyson Chandler and um, Jeremy O'Neal. Not looking great for that. Not too happy with that. Um, let's try Baron Davis. I just want to upgrade my team, guys. I just want to win some games. You know, I just want to win a bunch of games. Nope, nothing. So we're going to go to the standings. We are currently fourth in the East. Brooklyn Nets are first, and then the Warriors are first in the West. Let's see who the Brooklyn Nets have that they are first. Let's, let's, let's see what this team is looking like. Charles Barkley, John Stockton, Yao Ming. Okay, that makes sense to me. That definitely makes sense that this team is first. Um, so we're going to simulate through this game, these games. We're going to see who takes off in this Rising Stars Challenge game. If it'll low, okay, here we go. Penny Hardaway dropped 29. But on the other team, you got a young Tim Duncan with 20, 16, and 6, and Alonzo Mourning with 20 and 9. So that is pretty dope. That's pretty dope, man. So now we're going to go to the dunk contest and the three-point shootout, see who wins those. I'm going to go with Vince Carter, won a dunk contest, and Klay Thompson won a three-point shootout. So I was wrong on both. Joe Johnson with a three-point shootout and Julius Irving on a dunk contest. Pretty dope, pretty dope. Let's go to the next game. In the All-Star game, let's see who would be the MVP, the Eastern Conference won. 
So looking by the numbers, it was either Hakeem Olajuwon or the big O that probably won MVP. Shaq played 11 minutes, scored 7, 4, and 1. Not too bad for Shaq. And then on the Western Conference, you got Magic Johnson. Yeah. So what we're going to do, we're just going to simulate through the trade deadline because it doesn't seem like we're going to make a trade. So there we go. Let's see if there's anybody on our team that um we can extend their contract. And no, there isn't. It seem, seems, oh, AK-47 is somewhat loyal now, guys. Maybe if we can win a championship, he'll be loyal enough to sign. Actually, if we do win a championship, I'm probably going to end the video. We're not going to do this for many seasons. Um, but it doesn't look good. We started off, off after the break pretty tough, man. It, we're not winning many games anymore. Not sure what's wrong. I don't think anyone is injured. Chemistry is still pretty high. Fans are interested, man. We're in Boston. Boston has some of the most loyal fans in the league, but they're not interested. And we're fifth in the East. It keeps dropping. Fifth, sixth, and seventh. And this was not a great second half for us, guys. Wow. We may not even make the playoffs. We jump back up to fifth. Okay. Okay, we made the playoffs. We made the playoffs. That's good. I'll take it. I'll take it. I'll take it. That means we have a possibility of winning it all. MVP goes to Will Chamberlain. Rookie of the year goes to Tim Duncan. Look how young Tim Duncan looks in this picture. That's crazy. Uh, Manu Ginobili, sixth man of the year. What a surprise, right? Hakeem Elijah won defensive player of the year. Most improved is still CJ McCollum. I always say his name wrong. CJ McCollum. Um, and Randy Whitman was the coach of the year. Cool. All NBA first team, you can see this. I'm looking to see if Shaq made anything, and he made all NBA third team. Pretty solid. Defensive players, um, nobody from our team. Uh, Jason Kidd, defensive player. Nice, nice, nice. And I don't think we had a rookie. So let's get into the playoffs, guys. I'm excited. I'm excited about this. We're going against Toronto, so let's see. Do we have the game plan for Toronto? Because if we, I, we probably do, because, I mean, all the legends. So let's see who's in the Raptors team. So they have Bill Russell, Melo. Ooh. Jerry Lucas is out for a couple weeks, so that, sh that may be good for us. They still have Charles Smith, but one of their best players is out, I think. He may be playing through it. We're not sure yet. Um, They have Mo Cheeks, so we have to worry about Mo Cheeks making anything because he can't shoot to save his life. But they do have <laughs> Michael Red, who is a monster offensively. So it'll be a nice matchup, man. It'll definitely be a nice matchup. We're going to simulate game one. We took game one. Let's look at the box score. Um... Let's see. Jerry Lucas is playing, guys. Jerry Lucas is playing, so don't worry about it. Um, Melos dropped 30, but it wasn't enough because Shaq had 33, 21, and 7. The man is a beast. Go to the next game. Okay, we took 2-0 lead. Let's go. Keep going. Let's keep the streak alive. Keep the streak alive, and we swap them. Let's go, guys. Get out of that first round, and it looks like we may be going against... We're going to go against the New York Knicks. A nice rivalry, man. Knicks... Celtics, second round in the playoffs. Let's see who this the Knicks have. The Knicks have wait, I'm I'm passing them. What am I thinking? The Knicks have Jerry West, Bob Pettit, Willie Reed, Antoine Walker, Byron Scott. This team was first in the East, but this team doesn't look amazing. This team definitely does not look amazing. I think our team is better than theirs. Hopefully we can get the W though. They do have the NBA logo though. So <laughs> let's see how this goes. Game one, we lose. Games, no, it does not. It doesn't look good for us, guys. It doesn't look good. Oh, uh, we're down three one, and we got eliminated. Second round, we made it to the second round, but that's okay. Um, I think I have time to go through one more season. This will be a pretty long episode. And actually, the team we got eliminated by went on to win the championship, so I don't feel too bad about losing to them. Um, the Memphis Grizzlies made it to the championship. They have Paul George, Terry Commons, right? Terry Commons, right? Uh. Magic Johnson and DeMarcus Cousins. How did they get all four of those guys? Um, but that's it, man. We we lost in the second round, but the Knicks went on to win a championship. Bob Pettit was the MVP. What a surprise, right? So let's see who's all going to be retiring. Um, okay, nobody from our team retired. Sebastian Muhammad retired after one year in the league. There had to be a re. I don't know the reason. What the heck? Rain McClough. Look at all these young cats that retired. Maybe because they couldn't get a job or something. I don't know. Um, but nonetheless, none of our players retire, so that's great. All of the coaches retire. What is going on here, guys? Okay, it makes sense that Pop retire. Rest in peace, Flip Saunders. Um, George Carl makes sense. Dwayne Casey, though. Come on, Dwayne Casey's not that old. Not old enough to be retiring. Same thing with Alvin Gentry. Um, Rick Carlisle. Look at these. These are some great coaches that retire. Doesn't make sense, but hey, we can't do anything about it. I'm actually going to skip the lottery. I know we have picks, but the lottery just takes way too long. When we get to draft day, we'll just see who we got. 
or what picks we have. And um, we still have Brad Stevens, which is great. I'm going to actually let the... I'll let the um the owner or whoever deal with that. I don't really care about Colton too much, guys. I don't really care about Colton too much. Let's get right into the draft. We are going to be making some major trades, hopefully. If this works out the way I want it to, we're going to be making some major trades. So let's see how it goes, man. Let's definitely see how it goes. Get right into it because we did, like I said, we did load the um we did load the rosters or the draft class or whatever. So there is there are real guys in here, but I was like, you know what? Let's just go with Let's just wing it, man. Let's just wing it. So we actually got some pretty bad picks. We had three first round picks. Um, oh, we actually have the third pick in the draft. Okay. We can deal with that. We can definitely deal with that. Let's try to trade it right off the back, man. I don't want any rookies. I'm going to win the championship. The rookies aren't going to help too much with the championship run. So, hmm. I am going to try to trade this guy for with, with these picks and see how it goes. Maybe we can upgrade a lot. Maybe look at this. Sam Jones. Sam Jones is not that much of a scorer though. Is he? Oh, he actually is. Maybe I'm thinking of someone else. Okay. That's a nice pick though. Or nice nice trade to think about. Larry Hughes will be a nice upgrade, but they want Baron Davis. I don't want to get rid of Baron Davis. Same thing with Tony Parker. Don't want to get rid of Baron Davis. Oh, Vladi Divac and um Andre Iguodala. This is the the nice prime Andre Iguodala. For these guys in that third overall pick, not too shabby, man. We not too shabby. Rest in peace, Drazan Pe Petrovic. Um, let's see. Okay, let's see what else we can get. Let's look. Let's try to trade everyone. Oh, let's just see what we can get for a lot of people. Cause definitely, definitely want to get some guys that'll help this championship run. Monte Ellis, that'll be a nice trade, I guess. Robert Paris would not be a bad pickup whatsoever. Wow. Let's let's look what he did last year. He averaged twelve and ten, I guess. That's not terrible. Um, see what else is there. Let's see what else we got. Pretty much the same guys from the other trade, which is okay. Um, let's try to see, let's try to trade clay. Let's see if we can get like a, a, a really good high overall. Like let's, let's see if we can get like, um, Jordan. <laughs> let's see if we can get like Jordan. Like this Jimmy Butler trade. Actually, that's not a good trade. That's not a good trade. Um, we, I think we're going to go back and trade. John McLaughlin, John McLaughlin, and um, yeah, we're gonna trade John McLaughlin and these two picks be between Mate or um, a uh, Iguodala. Yeah, I like this trade because we get John Starks too, who's also an offensive beast. He only averaged uh, four points a game last year because he didn't get the minutes, but we may give him the minutes. He'll not be a nice guy in the rotation. And um, let's see what else we can get. This may not be a bad one either. Let's see what he averaged last year. 17. At, shot 50%. That's great. For the skill that he has, the sh shots that he takes. I think I got to go with this one. Man, look at those numbers. 97-3. That is ridiculous. We, I think we got, we have to. You guys are going to be go screaming at me. But at, do we want to take a single player or do you want to take a two-piece that can help our team dramatically um who is our backup center again i forgot completely who our backup center is um joe kim noah is our backup center we can upgrade joe kim noah to vladi divak oh man i'm gonna do that one i'm gonna do this one it'll help our team overall it won't just be one guy coming in and doing all the work so since we have that we want to trade Tiago Splitter for uh, some of these other draft picks. We have a lot of second round draft picks. We're not going to do anything with those. So why not try to trade them? Jeff Hornacek, we had a chance to get him, but we didn't. Um, Casey Jones. Is Casey Jones a shooter? I don't think he is. One of these guys isn't a shooter. Yeah, there we go. He's not that much of a shooter. Um, so it doesn't look like we have anything there. So we did get Vladi. We got Vladi and Shaq on the same team. Let's try to deal that's that if anything, next year we're done. Like if we don't win a championship, we're we're ending the episode or the video. So we might as well trade these these future picks, right? We might as well trade them all. Um that 29th pick is not gonna hold any merit to like something like this. I don't know how people do this, man. I, I'm not too big into the whole trade and draft picks. It's tough for me. I, I always struggle with making like nice trades, hitting stains on people. Like I always struggle with that. 
Um, and they're still not offering me anything worth. Okay. So we're just going to just sim to the end of the draft. Let the system manager do all of that stuff because I don't know anything. I don't know anything. I don't have many picks, so I'm like, let him do it. Ben Simmons first overall pick. I knew that was gonna happen. But other than that, no. So let's get it, boys. I'm I'm excited about this, guys. I'm really excited about next season. We uh, hopefully we have some cap room. If we have some cap room, we'll definitely try to um try to get someone else in the free agency. Definitely try to get free agency people. Um, so we had the third pick. We would have probably ended up getting like Jabari Brown. Oh, Jalen Brown. Who is Jabari? Br Jabari Brown plays for the Lakers, or he used to at least. So let's go to rookie signings. We're not signing anyone. All these people are going to be free agents. And then let's go to no team option players. Okay. LeBron decline. Maybe we can sign LeBron if we have the cap. I don't know if we have the cap room, actually. We'll see how it goes. Like I said, AK-47 test for agency. Oh, we did a great job. I traded for Vladi because Joe Kim's test and free agency. So we're going to oh, we're gonna be way over the cap. We won't be able to sign anybody this offseason. So the team we have is the team we're going into it with. Offer him $20 million a year. Whatever. Um, let's see. We're $3, $3 million under the cap right now. But as soon as Jason Kidd signs back, we're going to go way under. And LeBron is here. Look at all these guys. LeBron, Charles Barkley, of course, my guy, Jason Kidd. Um, let's hope that he signs back with us. Uh-oh. Hold on, guys. I think we just lost Jason Kidd. We just lost Jason Kidd. I offered him something. It didn't even tell me. Wow. Okay. Now we need a point guard for sure. Um. Oh, he's still there. What is going on? I'm going to offer it to him again. Hopefully, he accepts it this time. There we go. Sign this player would take you over the salary. So, we, we can't? Why would they give me the opportunity? To, let's try it again. Okay, things are looking great. I, I don't understand what's going on, guys. I don't know what's going on. So, maybe we should go down further. I feel like we may have lost Jason Kidd. Um, let's try to do a one-year thing. I don't know. I don't know what to do. I'm just going to lower it a lot and do like, do something like that. I feel like a lot of teams are going to be like this with all these, these, um, old players. I feel like no one's going to be able to sign anyone. Um, I see Jason Williams here. We don't have the money to sign him. We don't have the money to sign anyone. Aaron Brooks, not even Aaron Brooks. You know what I'm going to do? I am going to have... I'm going to automate it. I'm going to let them do it because it seems like it's kind of glitched in a way. Um, Just because we have all these, these older players and they're worth so much money. It just seems like, um, yeah, we're going to simulate it. We're, hopefully we keep Jason Kidd. Let's look at the roster and we did it. So Baron Dave is going to be our new starting point guard. Not too big of a deal. And then we're probably going to move... Um, Andre Iguodala to small forward and have Klay Thompson at shooting guard. I think our team just got worse, guys. I thought I was going to be able to retain that guy, but I guess not. And this is the team we're rolling with. We're not doing summer league or we'll, do, we'll go to training camp, I guess. Hmm. It's really confusing how that works out, guys. That's really, really confusing. I wonder if anybody else runs into that problem. So let's go to perimeter shooting. We're going to give it to um this guy that's the only thing i can think of actually advance to the next season and then it's going to ask us probably oh no i took it put it on auto so they're going to fill the roster for us hopefully we don't get a bunch of bomb players and um no i mean kind of we got eric snow i don't know who this guy is he's a rookie but we got him and then thomas green so it seems like our rotation is going to be pretty pretty um small so let's go to uh let's do that when did we pick up Jason Richardson? I think they may have done that for us. And we got Rajon Rondo. <laughs> okay, <laughs> we'll take it. And then we're going to start Clay Thompson. I'll do it like this. Perfect. Let me make sure I make Eggie's actual position a small four. Because if I don't, then they're going to keep starting um, Mike Dunleavy over him. And I don't want that to happen. So do that. And accept. And his overall jumped up to a 90. Perfect trade for us. We did a great job with that, guys. 
so there we go. This is our rotation. I, I'm thinking it's pretty good. We still have 390 overalls and Rajon Rondo is back. So we have another facilitator in that position. So let's go a month into it. Let's go a month into it, man. Um, Brad, uh, okay, just have them do it. Carlos Boozer was at it. Hold on. When? What just happened? Are they signing players for us? Carlos Boozer. He's still overall 84. And then who else did they say? Brad Dalt. Daughtry? Daughtry? Brad Daughty? Another big man who's a beast. Whoa, whoa. What's going on here? You see this? Look at this big man rotation. I think I may have to trade Boozer though, actually. Because look at look at the guys coming off the bench. We got two centers and then we have another power forward. So I don't really like that too much because that means, you know, our we don't have any perimeter players coming off that bench. So what we're going to do, we're going to try to trade Boozer. Hopefully his contract is enlarged. And it's not. Oh, my God. He's making a, a minimum contract. Same thing with Brad. That is ridiculous. Holy smokes. <laughs> let's um. Let's make it to a 11-man or a 10-man thing. And there we go. Now we have Mike Dunleavy coming into the game. And that was ridiculous. Man, I should have let them do that in the beginning, man. So we started off the, the season 3-1. and one. Not too shabby. We're going to keep simulating and hopefully we win more games. But as soon as I say that, we start losing. Heavy. One four-game losing streak. I don't know what happened there. Fans are, for the first time, 100% interested. Didn't happen last year, but here we go. They saw we signed Boozer and we got Rondo back. So they was like, you know what? We like this team again. I feel like because of the rosters, there's a ton of guys that are minimum um, contract players. Shaq is injured. That's probably why we're losing a little bit. So, yeah, look at... Oh, that's Barniani. Nobody cares about Barniani. But, yeah, because of um, nobody had calorie, salary. So, it's probably a lot of guys in free agency that's actually good. A.V. Bradley. Yeah, these are some solid guys that can be, ro like, nice roster pieces. But since no one has salary, you know, those guys are going to be on the, the uh, free agency for a while now. And we're going to continue to simulate these games, man. We're trying to win as many as possible, trying to get this championship. If we don't, no biggie, man. We'll come back and do this maybe next week. But this has been going on for a long time. <laughs> we're already at 40, almost 40 minutes. Definitely going to be one of my longest videos. I feel like um, right now, it feels like I'm kind of live streaming. I've live streamed in the, pre in the past before, but not too much recently. Just because uh, how things are working out. Just don't really have the time to. Usually when I am playing 2K, I'm recording. I really don't have time to play for pleasure. I'm not saying that I would because I'm not a big fan of 2K, but I really don't have the time to. And uh, we're actually not playing terribly well this year. Um, fan interest has dropped from 100 in the beginning of the season to 80. Only a couple months into it, so <laughs> that's not great. Um, I don't think we are going to do much as far as like going to see what's going on around the league. We may just skimmer through it this season, but I want to get this over with as soon as possible. I wish there was like a super sim, you know, a super sim and make it go a little bit faster, but there's not. And we're, we're, we're winning now. We're winning more games. We're winning more games. 31 and 20 right now. It's not too shabby. We're doing pretty solid. I'm just, I just want to win a championship, guys. Bring number 18 to Boston. That's what I want to do. Bring number 18 to Boston. Okay, so now we are at the all-star break. Let's go to uh, league leaders. Larry Bird, you guys can see. Um, you guys can see what's going on. And then we're going to go to the conference. And the Wizards are first. And then the Memphis Grizzlies are first in the West. So let's see what the Wizards have. They have Will Chamberlain still. Oh, this is a team that we said was great. And then Memphis. We're going to go to Memphis. Uh, where is it? Here we go. Memphis has LeBron, Magic Johnson, Paul George, DeMarcus Cousins. Look, LeBron signed for a minimum contract. We could have got LeBron, dude. Why wasn't I looking out, man? LeBron signed for a minimum contract. And they're probably going to win a championship. This team is way too stacked not to win a championship. Oh, my God. I, I should have I should have looked. I should have looked. Let's just go to the playoffs and see what happens. But it just feels like they're they're definitely gonna win the championship. I just I just see it happening. Definitely, definitely. LeBron, Paul George, and Magic Johnson. There is no beat in that. I, I don't see. I don't can't think of a four player tandem that can beat that. But you know what? We may be we may be the team in the East to do that, man. We may make it to the championship and how to challenge them. We may have to. We'll see how it goes, man. We'll definitely see how it goes. 
We are third in the East as we speak. Fan interest is slowly going down more and more. It's down to a 60. Something's not right. Someone has to be injured or something, man. Shaq is injured again with a broken right ankle. And then Carlos Boozer is injured. Wow. I said we're going to be the team to beat him, but we can't even stay healthy. We can't even get healthy, man. It's crazy. I really would love to win a championship, man. I guess we're just going to have to see. We're going to the playoffs as the fourth seed, so we're going to be in that 4-5 matchup. Most valuable player, LeBron James, and he's on a minimum contract, guys. What is going on with the world? Rookie of the year, Ben Simmons, makes sense. Patrick Ewan is the sixth man of the year. You'll never see that guy coming off the bench in ever in any history. Um, David Robinson, defense player of the year. D'Angelo Russell, most improved. And there's coach of the year because he has LeBron, Paul George, and Magic Johnson. But let's get into this first uh, matchup against ATL. Let's go against Atlanta. See who Atlanta has. Um, there we go. They have Isaiah Thomas, Amari Stoudemire, Draymond Green, Joe Johnson. Um, they have a nice, solid team. I don't even know if we're completely healthy. We're not. Blake Griffin is now hurt. Yeah, we're probably going to get swept, guys. I, I see it in the... I foresee the future, and we're probably going to get swept. Oh, no. We didn't. We won a game, but we still lost playoffs. Let's see who's just going to win it all, and then I'll end off the video there. I'm saying if Memphis doesn't win a championship, I don't know who will, and they swept them in the championship. Does this make sense? I, I, I predicted it, guys. I definitely predicted it. Well, that's going to be the end of the video, man. That was ridiculously long, but I had a lot of fun. Hopefully, you have fun watching this. If you did, as always, be sure to leave it a like. If you're at this point right now in this video, you are the real MVP, man. I want you to say in the comment section, I am MVP. Just so I know who are the guys that watch this video in its entirety. Because 40 minute video is ridiculously long. And you see my, right here, I'm like closing games and stuff. Well, if you enjoyed the video, as always, leave it a like. Like I said, I'm out. Thanks so much for watching, guys.